community due to the recent COVID-19 outbreak. While I do not have an announcement regarding the status of school for tomorrow, at this time I would recommend that everyone take any resources you need with you when you leave for the day today. Please make sure you take any Chromebooks, laptops, chargers, textbooks, or work with you when you leave this afternoon. Again, while I do not have a specific update, out of an abundance of caution, I would recommend that everyone takes what is needed at the end of the day today. March 12th, 2020, the day everything changed and nobody knew what was to come of it. Per an order from Governor Wolf, all Montgomery County schools were closed for two weeks. Little did anybody know we would not be back for the rest of the school year. As the 2020-2021 school year began, teachers and students were adjusting to the new virtual way of learning and were still fearing yet another year of lockdown till October when Dr. Dietrich made the announcement releasing North Penn's official hybrid plans. Students that wanted to go back would be able to go to school every other day following either a hybrid one or hybrid two schedule and would rotate between one and two every Friday, which would be a half day. You know, COVID has drastically impacted all of our lives over the last year. Um, last March, it was suddenly, all right, everybody out of the building by three o'clock, take whatever you need, you're gonna teach from home. And it's like, whoa, what, you know, what is this? So it was, it was a big adjustment initially, I'm sure for both students and teachers. Um, and we really didn't have the kinds of materials that we really needed to be able to do that for the last couple months of school. So we kind of had to take what we had, make some adjustments and, and do the best we can. Canvas has been um, challenging to keep up with because you basically have to recreate everything that you've created before on Google Classroom. Um, and, you know, trying to come up with ways to assess students that are fair um, and can give an authentic assessment of what they would learn. I personally believe that having students and teachers in the classroom is the best way for students to learn. Uh, where we can interact, where I can monitor what you're doing. Um, when students are online, and I'm online, it's very difficult for me to know what's going on. So students log into the Meet, but very often when I try to get them to respond to something, I get nothing. So does that mean they went back to bed? They, they're playing on their phone? You know, whatever they might be doing, I have no idea. Kids really need it to be back, especially the younger kids. They had, they, parents really struggled. And you know, I, I have a middle schooler, um, she's pretty independent, but I can completely see where you have a second, third, fourth grader, even younger, how that, how difficult that would be to try and keep them engaged in school. And, you know, just to get them to figure everything out because all the technology is uh, not necessarily new to them, but these, different apps that we have to use were pretty new, I think. The students being back in the building not only has learning change, but the way lunches are prepped and distributed have too. Different, we usually used to serve, you know, hot food right from the line, but everything's packaged, everything's sealed, and um, it's kept warm, you know, because they don't want to give a student a cold hamburger. so hard because of yeah. the plexiglass and stuff and yeah. you know and to try and get the tables done and all that stuff but we do the best we can and we clean off what we have to and at the end we sanitize them all with hybrid schedule being a big success it wasn't long after when the decision was made to let students come back full time with students being back in the building five days a week sports clubs and major events will start to make a comeback like powder puff football so coaching powder puff was definitely a bit different i had to make sure I kept different girls separate just so that like if they're going to be playing together, they're going to stay together. So I had two different lines and I was pretty much just trying to make sure that I had a safe team. Um, all the girls had to wear their masks, which is definitely harder on them and uh, more physically demanding on them because they are running around and the mask is hindering their ability to breathe. So I made sure to take that in account during practice and not go as hard as 
I feel like you could. Powder Puff, Powder Puff was experience in my first year coaching. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was a little hard with COVID because you had to, you know, keep, every, keep everybody a little bit spaced out during practice. But with things opening up right now, it was a little better. Uh, took the L this year, but it's okay. We're going to clap back next year and hopefully whoop Ryan team's butt. All, right? all of Powder Puff. There have been many other events like the auto show and senior prom that have given students a sign of hope. I also enjoyed the senior prom because I got to hang out with friends, record an event for MVTV, have a good old fashioned time without a mask on. With some simple changes and various events, hope can finally be seen on our road to recovery because we are North Penn Strong.